And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lucian Shivana. We're going to be playing a mostly Demacia deck here, Demacia Aggro with Lucian Senna and having a top end of a bunch of dragons with Shivana. So we got Shivana, White Flame Protector, Screeching Dragon, um, so good dragons here. Plus, we also have um, our Dragon Guard Lookout for whenever we behold a dragon, we get to rally. So we get some extra attacks, which that's definitely what you want in a Demacia deck. Uh, we can also give our dragons, you know, like with the dragons, people usually block them with like little 1-1s. One so we can give them Fearsome, and that can be really useful. And if Fearsome's not good enough, we got Zenith Blades to give them Overwhelm. So we're going to be able to give our have our dragons be Fearsome and Overwhelm, and we attack multiple times. Pretty awesome. We also have a couple Egghead Researchers in here so we can get some more dragons. Um, Dragon Guard Lieutenants being a nice little challenger. Um, and, the, and that's basically our deck. We got, you know, like some removal with single combat Concerted Strike. Um, yeah, so there we go. Lucian Shivana looks pretty sweet. These dragon decks are really fun to play. I guess I like Demacia myself. It's probably my favorite region. Um, so let's see how we do. We're going to go play our five games in ranked. How we always do. It looks like we're playing against some Discard Burn with some Teemos um, for our first matchup. So we're going to mulligan the 4-mana spell and the 6-mana card against the fast aggro deck. It's not my favorite 2-mana card, but we need to keep it. Um, I'm going to replace Shivana also. Basically, my thinking here is... We have a, a good amount of four mana cards anyway. I just want I want to try to um, like with mulliganing all these other things. Like we're going to get something else that's basically like Shivana, like Screeching Dragon, Shivana. You know, basically the same for this kind of matchup. Wanted to see if we could find some earlier cards to go along with them, and didn't quite accomplish our goal. Another day in the field. Unfortunately, this would have been good to have like you know Free Feather Tracker, something like that. Okay, so it looks like um, we are not doing good as far as drawing our uh, cheap spells is concerned. So we're going to block, we're going to play our Ranger's Resolve, we need to keep our Bright Steel Protector alive. We don't have anything else going on. Unfortunate curve situation going on here. Three five mana cards and a six mana card. So we only have three puff caps left. We already ate two out of the, you know, the five puff caps on 34 cards. Two of them immediately on the top card. So not having the best luck in, in any case for anything this game. All right, well, there's a Concerted Strike, I suppose. Have to use that. You know, fight Teemo right here, we do that, or we just hold on and take it and get five more Puff Caps and just hold on to the single combat for the Screeching Dragon. I guess I'll just hold on to it for the Screeching Dragon the next turn. We'll kind of see what they do if they... Yeah, they're just casting vision. Okay. Alright, we'll go ahead and single combat now. Yeah, vision's pretty awesome with, you know, with House Spider. That's a really good combination. Consider passing there for a little bit. Shivana. Down to 
five. All right, we're still at nine. So far, so good. Let's stay alive. More house spiders. We can deal with more house spiders. That's not the scariest. That is the scariest right there. Yep, they're a jinx deck. So we have Shivana and single combat. I'm thinking like single combat right now on the Jinx. The answer is here somewhere. I'll keep our dragon alive at one. We'll grow with the fury here. <laughs> Look at our dragon. I think my dragon has to challenge the battlecaster. Fire and fury. Yeah, our dragon's flying. I think we have to challenge the battlecaster. But it did a lot. It has killed four things so far. About to be a fifth for our five mana. That fury. You know, imagine like the the five mana five four challenger. It, it's not going to be killing five things. We did here. Suffer my fury. So that's going to level up Shivana as well. With the dragon dealing 8 damage, Shivana dealing 4. No, it doesn't look good. I mean, the. Uh, yeah, like they. I'm going to take Spear Inventor is definitely good there, but you know, we just got, got too far behind there in the early game. Didn't really do much. For a while, we had a, a pretty poor hand. Our first four turns didn't do nearly enough. So that's all I got. Do kill cascading here. Let's see. So block, block, block. Yeah, I think we just do this. I could like try to keep the three two alive. But I think we try to take it the least amount of damage as possible. Man, Draven's biggest fan, not a fan of Draven dying. Yeah, it, I could definitely see it being difficult to enable Radiant Guardian in a deck like this. Oh, that's a great rummage. <laughs> but it, I don't really want to like take a bunch of time to, to play more attackers and let them level up Jinx. But I guess I guess that's not that big of a deal if they level up Jinx or not. Yeah, I guess it's not. Let's okay, never mind. Let's let's go ahead and do it. Let's let's get extra attackers out here. So we already killed one Jinx. This one cannot make like a super mega death. You know, it's not like it's already leveled up and then I have to try to kill it before they empty their hand so they get a super mega death rocket. Right, like them them emptying their hand would just turn this into a 5-4. Which it's harder to strafing strike a 5-4, but it's not impossible. I'm what nightmares fear. So they have to block with Jinx to stay alive. My gun does the talking. Nothing stands in our way. Because these are all going to be fearsome, and so they'll have a Jinx to block. Unfortunately, I can't kill it with the strike beforehand. I could just cast the Pill Cascade right now and see what we draw. See if we draw. Nah, no matter what we draw, it doesn't really matter. I mean, we could just maybe get another attacker, I guess. Um, 
Yeah, we could maybe get just another fearsome attacker. Oh, one mana short. Let's, um, all right, so their Jinx is going to die. That's going to die. So I guess we need to just Strafing Strike the Daring Poro and kill the Daring Poro. And I'll just do it on the Dragon so we heal the Dragon too. Okay. Hopefully they draw Jury Rig. We're going to have to fade a couple of draw steps. We're going to need them to draw something that's not very good here. And then we're going to need them to not draw a Burn Spell. Um, on our way back. Oh, you know, it's still definitely... Ooh, that's a great draw for us. All we have to do is fade one draw step now. Yes! There we go. Um, play the other dragon first. I'm ready. Now where are they? There we go. My gun Fearsome dragons. Wow. That was a close one. First few turns, I did not think we were going to be winning that game, that's for sure. That was a good win. Alright, more aggro. <laughs> Oh, I gotta, um, we're just gonna keep the sand, this is fine. Almost missed that. Sorry, opponent. Sorry, opponent. Solution. So then we'll have like researcher with pale cascade this turn. No prey, no pay. Yeah. The more we learn, the less we fear. In range. Ha! Do I trade away Lucian for Crackshot Corsair? All right, so I'm definitely doing this. Not the egg. But do I do I trade away Lucian? For another one. I know. Yeah, it is a great start for them. I think so. Yeah, I think so. These Crackshot Corsairs are good. It's just, it's a lot of damage where the, those things don't even really have to attack. They can, they can get a lot of damage in. They're much more powerful than the, you know, like the one-two body shows. It's like, you know, it's a one-two body, but it also gets one dam one unblockable damage every single turn. And so, I think with where we are and how we can like win a, a later game, I think we do kind of just have to trade the. I don't want it just to trade with Screeching Dragon. I guess it's the White Flame Protector. I could go Zenith. The other thing, I could go Zenith Blade on the, the Shivana and make Shivana a 4 6. And therefore, it can block Iron Blista and stay alive. That's probably not as good as just playing this. Where's my journal? So we take one Overwhelm damage because of the bullet. So four total. Sweet life. Hmm. Grant an allied challenger? It's probably not as good as just playing this. So you can have like 
I really want to be playing this Dragon Guard Lookout. This should level up the Shivana. Oh my gosh. And they had a great hand. So we're down to five right now with us not being able to block Sprayfin. Make that four. I can definitely kill them next turn. I can definitely, definitely kill them next turn. So I, I want to use the, I really wanted to use the rally next turn. I really wanted to do this next turn where we would have, you know, be able to go like Zenith Blade on, on like Shivana, have like double attacks with Overwhelm Shivana, um, with the plus two plus two. I really wanted to use this next turn, but I'm worried. The reason why I didn't, because we could play like one of these other things this turn, but then I'm worried about us playing them, playing something else like that, and they go even wider. Not today. Is there a plan decimate? Like why did why I don't know why all four of these things are attacking. Do they have like brothers bond? If they have brothers, you know, if they have brothers bond, they can do 3 damage to me with my blocks. So they can put me down to 1. Quickly. Another fervor puts me down to 1 again. Just like brothers bond would have. That is nine, yeah. Please don't have a third Noxion Fervor. All right, GG's. Yeah, that was not a good attack by them. That was a very poor attack, in fact. All right, now we're going to the other end of the spectrum. We're going to the control deck. Ledros Atrocity Control. I kind of want to keep Dragon Guard Lookout, honestly. I really do. Let's let's do it because we only have the one Dragon Guard Lookout. I feel like we mulligan it. We're never gonna see it. Oh no! Got instantly punished. Yeah, we got really punished by just getting six drop, four drop. Go get him, Lucian. Burn away the shadows. I feel like extra attacks, like rallying, especially in this kind of matchup, could be really valuable. A little late there, Senna. So I do only have one other dragon in hand. As far as beholding is concerned. What's the plan? We shoot them. So going with Senna over Shivana because of <clears throat> because of Trundle, so we could have Concerted Strike available for that. Sleep when they're dead. Yeah, maybe I should use Single Combat right there. I kind of thought about that right afterwards, realized they were going to get the Spiraling right after I clicked it. Okay. I probably should have used Single Combat on my 4-2 to kill that thing, so then they would have taken 12. So I could go Fleet Feather Tracker single combat. Still and have them take 12. Or... Y'all think I should do 12? Alright, we'll do 12. So yeah, not, not as good. Like I... Yeah, but... Oh well. 
Can't go back in time. Could have been them at three with me having a two one. These are what if I played Shivana, single combat of the Shivana against the Trundle, it kills my Shivana, but then I get to attack. I attack with you know, then they have to block with loot block here. And then I get to untap and just attack immediately with Lucian. The craziest thing? Show them what we're made of. That's probably crazy. There's a lot of things they can have that they kind of punish me for that. And then if I had another dragon in my hand, I would be more into that line. So they have nine mana as far as Ruination is concerned. I don't know. I attack, they... Nothing stands in our way. Lucian's just probably going to die. <laughs> that makes me sad. Alright, so I don't get the Dragon Guard Lookout Rally, but we get the Lucian Rally with them killing Scythria. So they're going to have to have like a blocker here and they still die. So this should just be game. I don't, like even Vile Feast, they're dead. I, I don't think there's anything... Like, Troll Chant, they're still dead. Right? Four, five. Yeah, Troll Chant, they're still dead. I don't think there's anything that saves them. So there we go. GG's. Three and oh. Oh, that's true. Lucian would still be fearsome. I was going to say, like, we'd have, like, the dragon to challenge the Spiderling, but Lucian would still be fearsome. play Shivana, so we could have Lucian Shivana with the lethal attack. That's our deck, Lucian Shivana. Put to rest. GGs. All right, back to Misfortune Gangplank. Let's see what we got. So we got Dragon Guard Lieutenant Shivana, Screeching Dragon. Good, but there's no one, no three. I do like Screeching Dragon a lot. I'm gonna try keeping it. We have an, a big important factor of me keeping Screeching Dragon here is us having the attack token on turn five. If we don't have, if we didn't have the attack token on turn five, I, I would have mulliganed the Screeching Dragon to look for something to Explosive fill in the gaps. Forged in dragon fire. We've done a pretty bad job of drawing really expensive cards after mulliganing. So we're gonna have to try to catch up with single combat. Lucian's a great draw here because now I still have single combat mana, so that just gives me another card to play. I need another card to play. This, this looks a lot like the first game for us. I am more than I seem. I'll burn for what I've done. Take five. We're, we're trying. They had, you know, one drop, double one drop, and then just a two drop on turn three, but then one drop and three drop the next turn. So we're trying. 
So yeah, Screeching Dragon should be should be pretty big. You know, being able to be a removal. The thing is, like, if they pass, what do we do? Remember the objectives. For the glory of Nexus. Alright, they did not pass. Cythria. Neither the flames nor the deaths can claim me, Captain. Um, we're at three out of five. Maybe it's better just to play Cythria than Concerted Strike. Because Cythria is a six-six that can just block. You think I should go one, go one drop, and then Concerted Strike, and my my one drop in Screeching Dragon can block the two, these two. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Yeah, because we can't take any more damage. I like that. Oh. Awesome. That worked out. So now... I think Lucian plus Screeching Dragon. Don't get in my way. Just double spell. It's probably better than one Cythria. Can only attack for 14. If they only have burn spells. Yuck. I played the Lucian first because I didn't want them to know about another Screeching Dragon coming into play. Like that would maybe influence what they put out here. That's weird to just play that second main. It's just like, why? In a long path to get here. I have to kill them next turn before... I guess Cythria just attacks for more than the dragon. There's not too much difference between going down to two and going down to three. This is what we got. We got repost here for the dragon. GG's. No Noxion Fervor. 4 0. Playing against Deep. Dragons versus Deep. Dragons versus Sea Monsters. Don't love using like the Bright Seal Protectors like that early. I I don't know. I guess we just keep all of it. So basically, like my worst case scenario for my turn three is we we play another Bright Seal Protector. Best case we like draw something else and I can save the Bright Seal Protector for like Screeching Dragon or something else later. I don't know, the sand isn't. It's not perfect. There's a kill in the air. Get him, Lucian. Thorny Toad is such a beating. So yeah, I guess I guess we just wait. Just putting getting one health on, on Lucian is quite rough. Vessel small, but she ain't lacking courage. Got your back! Alright, Bright Seal Protector has Lucian's back. That's one dead for Lucian. Dragon blood to Marcin heart. They are nothing. This will be a second thing dying for Lucian. Cool. Fresh is 
worth at least twice as much. My shield is yours. Alright, I guess we'll protect Lucian some more. Go and harvest him. These jaw hunters. So that's number three. We got Screeching Dragons. You and I have been before, haven't we? This Relentless Pursuit of Happiness could be pretty nice. And they just pass. Yeah, probably waiting to play Maokai. I feel like if they had Devour Adepts, they wouldn't really wait, right? Like, I'd definitely consider just passing back to them and not letting them do anything. And maybe that's the right play. Like, maybe the right play here just isn't even attacking. It's just, you know, they, they just waste this mana and go back to them. Darn. That did not work out for me. That did not work out for me. Should've just passed. So we're just never going to be able to double. Like we're never gonna, like we're not gonna be able to play Shivana and Screeching Dragon together. Don't get in my way. We do have a lot of Screeching Dragons, so hopefully Screeching Dragon is good. <sighs> I want to play two of these things, uh, but we can't. I kind of feel like I'm supposed to play Shivana. We can level up Shivana. No, maybe play Cythria and then they don't get a block with these things. Show them what we're made of. I should have the Cythria hittings. First or second. That was that was dumb putting Cythria last. They get to gain They get to gain extra life. They get to gain two extra life. Hmm. And I guess I should have done this differently. Yeah, so just basically wrong challenges, wrong wrong everything with this. Yeah, wrong everything with this turn. That was a very poor turn by me. So that's two times that made the wrong decision. Obviously, that that just whole thing was was incorrect. But then also like the attacking on turn six, I should have just passed. The water rises. Opponents played it very well. They've they've played it well and uh, given me difficult decisions. They're as good as dead. You're adorable when you're angry. So playing Senna, or Senna can block Nautilus and a level up Lucian. You must have some unique insight into dragons. Most are cruel, vicious, and deadly. Them Stay back. What is this? Yeah, I thought they were farther away from going deep. I didn't recalibrate with like the Dead Bloom Wanderer, you know, doing that, and then you know, one jettison after the Dead Bloom Wanderer. I thought they were still like, you know, a little farther away. I didn't really re recalibrate and think of the plus three plus three. Give me the stuff. Stuff make happy. 
Those are all good cards to burn. I don't want them to have any of those cards. I can play dragons, but their their things are going to be bigger. Yeah, it's going to be difficult to win from this position. We'll, we'll have to see what they got. Won't be easy. Yeah, I don't I don't think we're really winning this either, are we? Alright, so they did block, they didn't misclick. things are so big. Even if they don't block this, they just go down to two. Pay the tithe. I wish I had that game over. Wish I would have made those two different decisions in that game. Um, but you know, that's not how that's not how life is. You don't just get 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 to do it over. Um, but you just gotta learn. And next time, you know, next time they had that. You know, turn six. They had they hadn't spent any mana whatsoever. Um, I just played the five drop. I really should have just passed that turn. The attack wasn't even really that good. Really should have really should have passed. And then, uh, the, you know, my next turn, turn eight, my challenges, and just set up where I put the attacks. It was just careless. You know, I didn't really think about what I was doing or anything. I just kind of, like, attacked and challenged, and that was it. And I did, needed to, um, you know, actually think it through. So that was just careless. So I lost that game. Um, don't know, you know, we just don't, don't know if I would have won if we would have done the other things. So it would have been in a better spot. Anyway, our deck looked great. You know, like 4-1 and one is awesome. We'll take a 4-1 every single time. Uh, we played against five very good decks. You know, that's just kind of what you do in ranked. We played against five tier one decks, and we had a good showing. Lots and lots of really close games that went our way against the aggro decks, including that first one. I really didn't think that we would be winning, but then we did end up winning that one. That one was really impressive. Um, uh yeah, it was just kind of cool. You know, like it just I like Demacia cards and the dragons at the top end were awesome. Screeching Dragon in particular, very good throughout those games, and the Shivana was good as well. And Sithrio did a, did pretty good. Uh, yeah, Sithrio was just fine, also. So yeah, really like this deck. So that's Lucian's Shivana. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. Any kind of decks that you want to see on stream or, um, you know, you play, play this deck, give me some feedback. How do you, how do you like it? Anything like that? Um, I would, I would uh, love to hear it. All right. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.